This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Thank you EA for allowing me to participate at this event. Hey guys, it is Tanya and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another speed build. Today we are decorating another dorm in the new world that came with The Sims 4 Discovery University. And we're in Brightchester right now and decorating a dorm for two sims. I figured we would pop over here because the last dorm build I did was in Foxbury. So this one is full of Brightchester pride, very much like the uh, bar I just did, the Brightchester pub. But the reason I did that was because I really wanted to do it in this campus and I really wanted to make an athlete's dorm. So one of the sims that lives in this dorm is an athlete and then the other sim is like just their roommate that kind of doesn't have a whole lot of stuff hanging up, kind of keeps to themselves a little bit. And that's just kind of the idea I had in mind because I wanted one that was like over the top decorated and then another roommate that, you know, has a more normal dorm experience where they only have a couple things here and there, not everything. So I thought that would be kind of a cool idea. I'm actually curious out of those of you that have gone to university or college of some sort and you stayed in a dorm, did you decorate it a lot or did you keep it mostly just your bed and like the stuff that came with it and maybe have a poster here or there? I know everyone has kind of a drastically different experience, but from most of the people's dorms I visited that were my friends in school because I didn't actually dorm myself, uh, like they didn't have that much in there. Like the most decorated thing is like their own bedspread, maybe a poster and like mini fridges and microwaves were very, very popular. But other than that, like it was, it was bland. Like you weren't finding a bike in somebody's storm or a punching bag like I have here, shelves hanging on the wall. Like that was not happening whatsoever. Uh, but I thought it was kind of a fun idea to do in this build. So of course I added all of the sporting equipment that we have with base game and Discovery University. So I have the punching, well not all of it. I didn't think it made sense to have like a treadmill and like a weight machine in here, but we have the punching bag. We have a bike, we have all that sporting equipment on the floor, like soccer balls, basketballs, and um, bats. I was like, what is a bat called? That's a bat. Um, <laughs> and then that little painting, or not painting, that little photograph of a sports team above the bed, I thought looked pretty cute, as well as another soccer ball or football, depending on what part of the world you're from, or basically if you're not from where I'm from, it's, it's a football. But uh, <laughs> And of course, you know, some more bright Chester stuff, as well as some American football posters. I think it's just really fun. I, I don't build things for athletes that much, but this was the perfect opportunity now that we have the after school activities included with the university that introduce both a soccer team and an esports team. So obviously I went with the more traditional sports idea with this dorm, but let me know if you guys would like to see an esports dorm at some point. I'd be really into doing that. I think that could be really fun. And on the same level, if you'd like to see a Foxbury Pride dorm, I feel like those two go together because I feel like Foxbury is all the technological things and it makes a little bit more sense to me that they might be way more into esports, whereas Brightchester might be way more into traditional sports. So I kind of like that idea, but let me know what you guys think about that. And when I get the pack, if that's something you guys would like to see, maybe I can do that. Uh, and of course, any other ideas you have that you'd like to see me do with The Sims for Discovery University. I can't wait to have it at home and play with it more. And I can't wait for all of you guys to get it this Friday and just see all of the awesome things that you guys create with it. Speaking of which, if you ever wanna like share stuff with me, I'm very active on Twitter, but also I have a Discord server. There's a link down to it in the description. Uh, you can come join our server and communicate over there. I love chatting with everybody over there. So I just thought I would mention that, but we're adding one of these little figures. I love these. I love them so much. I mentioned this in one of my other dorm builds, but they just make me think of pop figures and it's just so cool of the different versions of them. Like I love, there's a Bob Pancakes one. I need that one in real life. Like, can I please have a Bob Pancakes figure? That would just be so amazing. And there's a cow plant and then, you know, there's a bunch of them. It's a really cool nifty item to decorate rooms with. So I was very happy to get that. And of course I wanted to put laundry around this room, <laughs> like just a mess of laundry. Of course, if you have a uh, laundry day, this would be actual dirty clothes that smell and that'd be kind of funny. Ooh, maybe 
Yeah, I feel like having like a laundry room in these dorms makes sense once I have all the packs. That could be interesting. And <laughs> you sold the machines. I have like the little quarter slot on them. Yeah, having to lug your laundry to go get it done in dorms must suck. Like I had to help my boyfriend with that a bunch in school because he lived on campus and I didn't. And uh, yeah, that was not a fun time because it was nowhere near where his dorm was at all. Uh, but anyway, uh, <laughs> we're just finishing decorating here. I did kind of, as you'll see throughout, have parts of the room way more plain than the others. And there's just junk around, mostly clothes. Uh, and I also, of course, have the book bag at the end of the bed. And we're going to be sizing down this little trunk as well. I thought it was so cute. It was so perfect for what I was thinking of to put that there. Also, a little, I'm hoping I see it at some point. But when I go, went to go take the screenshots, there was like a floating book in the middle of the room and I don't know where it came from. So I'm hoping I get to see that get placed down in this footage. And I'm like, oh, oops. <laughs> but if not, um, fun note that when I went to go take the screenshots, there was a floating book above the bed. Uh, but I deleted it before I took the screenshots. And I really like how this came out. I also take so many screenshots trying to get uh, good ones for the end of the video and for thumbnails. For thumbnail pictures, I probably take like 30 screenshots. It, it's pretty bad. Um, but uh, I, I think I came out with a good one in the end, or at least I liked it. But of course, we're adding a stereo in here as well. I really like to have all the different ways that your sims can entertain themselves. I don't think I added a TV in here, which is kind of unrealistic. So I've done two dorm rooms now and neither of them have a television oopsies uh, but they do have desk areas with computers laptop computers so that's pretty realistic and I know a lot of people are kind of steering away from traditional television now and opting more into digital formats so that, I guess that is realistic I think we're eventually going to get away from TVs for entertainment for the most part I mean I, I we're getting away from cable I think we're still going to have like Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime and all that kind of stuff. Uh, that's mostly what I have. I don't even have cable at home because uh, I don't use it. But <laughs> anyway, totally different tangent there. Uh, this is the more plain side of the room. I do have a couple of things here like a laptop, a pile of homework and stuff because this sim is just here to get their work done and get good grades. They're not trying to party. They're not trying to make tons of friends. They're just, this is the, where they're living. And I kind of like that because that's really realistic for a lot of students. So I thought that was kind of a good thing to include. And of course, if you want to tell the story of your sim living with a jock and <laughs> what that's like, you have that side of the dorm to use that for as well, or vice versa if you want to play as the athlete. Um, but we're just adding a couple of like knowledge-based posters over here. I thought they were kind of cute. I, I feel like that one's typically more of a toddler poster, but I thought it was adorable. I feel like maybe they helped out with a fundraiser where they were like getting books for kids or something and... That's uh, what they were given. And of course, like an organizer with the cork board and the whiteboard, I thought was a nice addition as well. I think that's such a cute item. I love the little marker on it. It's just adorable. Uh, but this is the desk that I imagine belonged to the athlete. There's like nothing on it. I don't think this sim uses it very often. They use it when they need to, to get the grades to stay on the sports team. I thought that was kind of a fun idea having one sim in here that is more focused on school and literally nothing else. And then one sim that's just very focused on sports. Uh, actually, I, I'm curious to see how the soccer team thing works. I think it's entirely a rabbit hole, but you can practice dribbling your ball around, I think. I'm not entirely sure. And I, I would assume that esports is similar, a rabbit hole, but you can play games on the computer. I guess I will find out for myself when the pack comes out. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this storm room. We're just going to add a couple finishing touches before we head on into screenshots. I hope you guys did enjoy this build. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I'd love to have you join us. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so very, very much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye everybody.